Beckman Unleashed podcast number 22. Eric and I are here. We are live. All right. I just walked in the studio late as usual. What do we got planned? I had a couple questions for you. I wanted to dive into something if you're ready. Yep. I wanted to ask you about potty training. Okay. Potty training. Not for me. Puppy. Not for me. Okay. Just for like puppy. Hopefully you don't have to potty train a full grown dog, but I guess that happens too. Mainly puppies. I just did a session today. Potty training. About this? So it's fresh in my mind. Sweet. Yep. Two young Great Danes, three months old came. <clears throat> All right. Potty training your puppy. This is not going to be a potty training talk that you've probably heard before, guys. Honestly. Um, okay. Ready? So I'm going to get into it, True Beckman style, with the single biggest mistake people make with potty training. I'm going to tell it to you right now. The biggest mistake people make is they do not give their dog treats for going outside. I say to people, okay, you have to reinforce your dog when they go in the correct spot. And people go, every single person goes, oh yeah, yeah, I do that. I tell them, I give them lots of pets and I say, good job going potty outside. And I go, yeah, you give your dog lots of pets and tell them great job all day long. Why would they think it's any different than you just doing it in the house? You need to give them primary reinforcement in the form of a big piece of chicken, a big hot dog, something super reinforcing every single time they go outside. Don't don't even buy the stupid little Zooks tiny treats and give them two of those, those hard little nasty things. You got to jackpot them, right? You got to jackpot them. You get six shots of pee and two to three shots of poop. You have nine opportunities to tell your dog the biggest behavior when it, with a young dog, by the way, nipping is secondary. Jumping is secondary. <clears throat> to a degree, tearing up your house is secondary to teaching your dog to go pee and poop in a certain spot, whether it's on grass or gravel or whatever you want. You only get to, if I wanted to train sit, I could do 50 sits in a day and I could train it, you know, within a short period of time. You only got nine shots a day. You might, you better tell them right there. That's perfect. Jackpot them. Now there's way, that's the biggest mistake. There's more to it. And I'm going to tell you more cool things that I hope you like that the pod likes. So I think people are not going to believe that you're doing this on the fly. They're going to think that you're preparing this in advance. Do you know how many potty training talks I've given? A lot. You've done some videos obviously too, right? And classes like every single group class or puppy class I train potty training. I have a whole a Pitch. whole thing. Okay. So that's the biggest mistake. The set that's number one. Number two is you limit their ability to go potty in the house. That can be done with crates. That can be done with the umbilical method where they where their leash is around you and they are tied to you as you cruise around. That can be done with just watching your dog, but they can't learn to go off in the corner, go poop, and then you see them. And I'll tell you tell you what to do if they do do that. But just try not to let them do it. That's why crate. Tra- that's the only reason crate training is good, by the way. I mean, there's other reasons. A den, if you have to leave the house, there's other reasons. Crate training is primarily for po- for potty training, though. Okay, so don't let them go in the house. I just said it. Crate dogs don't generally want to go pee and poop in their crate because they can't get away from it. Generally, some dogs do, but generally speaking. So here's the routine. Ready? You have a two month old dog, a three month old dog. They get up in the morning, you take them out, you wait them out, you grab your treats outside and you stand out there and you ignore your dog and they're going to be excited and they're going to smell Then they're going to squat and pee. Right when the last drop goes out, you go, oh my God, you're the best boy. Throw the party by all means. And then you're going to jackpot them. Okay. Now you might want to wait for a poop as well. You might not. You come in the house. Now the morning pee, there's two peas. Okay, think about you as a human being. Tomorrow morning, wake up and then see how long it takes you to do your second pee in the morning. You go pee when you wake up, then about 20 minutes later, you have to go pee again. That's your only five minutes. Maybe five minutes later for Eric. Most people, then you can hold your pee for hours through the day, but there's like a mornings, there's like two peas. Dogs are the same way. So you got to take them, then you come in the house, let them play around, then you take them out again, then you jackpot them again. Then you bring in the house, you let them play and run around. This is very young dogs, by the way. Then you put them in a crate because young dogs should sleep a lot. 
They sleep in the crate. What do you do when you get them out of the crate, Eric? After they played in the house for an hour. Take them outside to go to the Take Albania. them outside. And you just do this over and over and over again. And then you reinforce and jackpot them and every you, time they do it, right? And you jackpot them when they go outside. And then your dog, then you start to over weeks or months. Like my dogs, Prince had like one accident in the house. I think he pooped in the house once. What'd you do to him? Did nothing. Okay. Because... Because they have accidents and like all dogs have accidents. And so you go, so okay, people. I didn't do something right. I wasn't looking for the signs. I didn't uh, let them out. I, whatever. And there is something to do when they do it. And I'll tell you what to do that. But there's, there's more to this. So would you, what percentage of the population that owns dogs do you think has trouble with advanced, you know, like there's probably a time where the puppies should be. What do they call it? Housebroken? Is that a oh, term or no? Yeah. I mean, what is not housebroken? Is one pee in the house a week not housebroken? Depends, I don't know. Depends on your floor, probably. Depends on yeah, it depends. Ben, it depends on a lot of things. I don't know. I six months, a year? What's the time? Oh, okay. Five months? They should be basically never going in the house. Yeah. Five and five months. Okay. And then what percentage do you think like a year in? just couldn't get it right five percent and of those five percent four and a half percent are small dog people what well, you're gonna deal with big giant poops in your house no little dog poops that they pick up from the dining room because the dog goes in the room that nobody ever uses and goes under the table and why wouldn't they because no one's ever in there so the dog's like i can go in here no one's ever in here they can deal with a little tiny poops or little tiny peas they don't see Not like great dane poop yeah right? great dane great danes are always potty trained. that'll change your life right? yeah i mean so so it's different with different dogs so do you think so of that five percent or four and a half whatever percent it is how like that could cause them to be rehomed right like if they can't that's figure a good this point out. i heard a stat that the main reason for rehoming a dog is the dog isn't potty trained i don't believe that i think it's aggression but um potty training might be number two because they're costing you money yeah just being on carpets i would say destroying stuff is probably number three anything that like, costs money people get rid of their dogs we have a two indoor and one outdoor cat do you know why the outdoor cat is outdoor it is not potty trained yeah it was and it regressed and uh, there is regression by the way yeah well, it didn't one, regress it just gave up on it and did whatever it yeah wanted. potty training with kids there's regression they go through times in their life I, one of my kids regressed not because of anything bad he just hit certain stages and then reg he's totally potty trained and then he regressed and it's just it, no that's it happens. common that happens yeah for sure like no accident dogs all too it's happening yeah they go through a few periods and it springs back up hmm. wait let me give you a few more things for potty training okay here's some rules i think i made these things up but maybe i heard them years ago i've been saying this for years here's a rule of thumb two months two hours three months three hours four months four hours so your dog can hold it at two months for two hours at the most. Now, overnight is a little bit different, right? Most dogs at three months can hold it for eight hours. But during the day, two months, they can hold it for two hours, three months, three hours. So two-month-old dog, you should be going out every hour and a half. Three-month-old dog, you should be going out every two and a half hours, okay? Which is not happening at night, right? But night's different, right? Okay. Their metabolism slows down. They, It's different. Just like it's different. They're diurnal also, like we are. Um, well, we're diurnal is up at morning and up, up, up at morning and up at night, right? I thought nocturnal was nocturnal's like up night. At night. Oh, diurnal's day. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. There is a word for up at in the morning and then up at at like sundown. It's called um. There's diurnal, nocturnal, and crepuscular. No, 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 no. Oh, that would have been epic if you got that. Well, crisp crepuscular is land dwelling. So the most crepuscular animal is horses because they only walk on one digit. They're the most adapted to land. Doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. The, what was that word again you used? Crepuscular. Crepuscular. That's amazing. That might be the morning, I think. I get it mixed up. So well, right. the reason I ask is I believe cats are nocturnal. Uh, yeah, they get the zoomies at night and you see them but yeah they hunt at night i think too so yeah uh that makes so, sense so <clears throat> you know the three months how about this after every event 
Your young dog needs to go potty. What is an event? Waking up is an event. Drinking water is an event. Eating food is an event. Having the zoomies at 7.30 at night is an event. Hmm. Every event, they have to go outside. And that is potty training in a nutshell. The next question you have if you're watching this is, why is Joel so on fire? And the other question is, what, what do I do when I see my dog go in the corner? Right? It depends. If you totally screwed up and the dog is like, I have to go. I'm so sorry. I know I should go outside. You do nothing because you messed up. Yeah. If you have done my deal and the dog just goes over there and just squats or lifts his leg, lifting their leg is a whole nother deal, by the way. That isn't potty training. That is that is lifting their leg. Okay. That is disrespect to the other dogs in the house or to you or something, if you want to be anthropomorphic about it. But what do you do if the dog is potty trained? Okay. You go, hey, and they are starting to pee or poop. And you go, ha, and you clap so that they go, whoop. And they stop and then you go over and you take them outside, but you're not very happy about it. You let them know that's not okay, hmm. but you don't do it in a mean way, but you, you stop up. Hey, you don't just go, oh, he's pooping in the corner. He's six months old. No problem. You don't do that. I think pooping is probably the most, the largest reason why I don't own a dog. Oh yeah. Just like having to take them out on walks. I guess you could let them go in your backyard too. And I bet people do that when they are cramped for time. But if you live in an apartment, you might not be able to do that. I know. So then you're just taking them out to go to the bathroom all the time. All the time. Then you have to follow them around with the little plastic thing, right? And then you feel like a goof a little bit, right? When you're scooping up the poop. No. And everyone's looking at you. No, are you really used to that like by now goof. or what? What? I don't pick up. I always remember that like Seinfeld joke. Have we talked about that one or no? No, go ahead. Oh, it's like, Something to the effect of, he says that, imagine if like an alien was watching. Oh, yeah. And he was saying, who is actually the master, so to speak, oh, right? Yeah. Because the one is like carrying the other one's poop. So he, and it's like, so not really sure who's in charge. Yeah, man. I I don't know. If I lived in an apartment and, and I mean, I'd have a dog because I'm a dog trainer. I can't think what else I would be doing. But it's a big pain in the butt and you're carrying around poop bags and but it's just life you know if you want to have a dog that's what you gotta do except some people just don't even do that right oh of, of the occasional person they yeah. just go take them out and just poop and just look the other way yeah right? but they're pretty good about it for the most part so yeah. potty training that's it there yeah. it is what did i miss I'm trying to think if there's anything what did i miss oh about can i ask training? a technical question yeah so you said hot dogs and chicken. So I know some people give their dogs raw chicken. Very few. People have pit bulls on YouTube seem to do this. Yeah. And they seem to do okay. They're, uh, yeah, they'll probably be fine. I'm just, I'm a little weird of raw chicken. Well, I am just even touching it and stuff. And I, I saw yeah. this thing on one of these documentaries and they, were, they, they tested five pieces of chicken from yeah. the store. And one of the five had salmonella in it. And they were like, oh, it's not great. So it's almost more for the human. Although I think dogs are pretty tough. Like if you gave a raw chicken to a wild animal, I don't think it's going to have a problem with salmonella. Yeah, probably not. But yeah, I would just stay away from raw chicken. Someone sent their born train with us and had raw chicken, I think, once. It's not common. Isn't People isn't, all get a little weirded out by that. Isn't it hot... Or, you know, I was watching a lot of, I think I sent you a couple of videos, but of these hybrid cats and stuff, and they're feeding them raw chicken. And I know they have no problem crushing raw chicken. It's still weird to just have raw chicken just throwing it all around the house yeah. or whatever. It's a yeah. bit bizarre. Yeah. Not a good idea. Raw beef is pretty common. Yeah. I think raw beef. I mean, you can eat raw safer. beef. I think it's much safer. My dad used to say that they'd have uh, hamburger meat in the fridge when he was a kid. And he's like, they would just go in and just eat the ground beef all the time. That's insane. Yeah. He was like, no one got sick. It's like true. To make fun of everybody. There's like, Middle Eastern dishes that are uh, raw beef. Yeah. He's always like, yeah. yeah. Everyone's like, he likes yeah. to challenge his constitution, I think is the term. Yeah. Uses. Yeah. It's got to be tough nowadays. Um, So there's that. And then aren't hot dogs already cooked or no? 
I grew up on raw hot dogs. My kids and my wife are like, what? I was like, you can eat you it. Took them out of the. Uh, yeah, you're tripped out by this too. Package. I mean, why wouldn't she like put it in the microwave or something? Because you can just eat them raw. It's like drinking out of the hose. But is it raw? I'm not against the hose for sure. Yeah, no, I just I I remember not eating a zillion of them, but I raw hot dogs many times. Here's why I don't think it's an issue. With and my the hose. kids can't even believe it. Is it? I guess the hose is like to me the hose is like the tap. So if you drink out of the tap, the tap is coming through all kinds of pipes and stuff and there if you ever like look yeah the hose pipes, the hose is the rubber right and the petroleum in the rubber oh i don't know i've never even thought about it um, i wouldn't think twice about it but i generally don't try to eat um or I, I don't usually drink tap water we never drink tap water but we have really just for the people watching we have really bad tap water in san diego we do yeah yeah it, like there's places you can go to like lake tahoe obviously but are just really good water they don't even need to do much to it out here and then obviously you've seen like flint michigan and places like this where it's like brown it's like brown water out of the yeah i grew up um i would go visit my dad which we talked about and he lived in northern california growing up their tap water smelled like the, for always it wasn't one summer it was it smelled like rotten eggs there was so much sulfur in the tap water in the Delicious. agricultural region of Northern California. Mm -hmm. It was the most disgusting thing I've ever smelled. And it was their water. It was their tap water. Is sulfur bad for you? I think almost anything is bad for you in large amounts. Well, this water, the water for years smelled like raw eggs. It was horrible. Um, we drink, yeah, we, we drink pH water. My yeah, wife is so anti and my kids, like we won't have the good water. And I'm like, here, drink it out of the tap to my kids and my wife's like um yeah no let's not do that i'm like it's one drink like are you tripping the, the kids can handle a little bit of tap water do they use uh, bottled water for boiling water for macaroni and cheese or something my wife tries to do we get these big things she tries to do it for our coffee in the morning i'm like there's no reason we're that's why we're buying constantly buying these things from this place because we're filling up. Are you getting them in liters coffee. or something? Yeah, we get big. We don't even use the plastic jugs. We use the glass ones. You guys are crazy. We're out of control. What the? But heck? you now, have a glass bottle for your water, three gallon, like a milk. We buy comes we buy by six of them. Yeah, it's like old school. We go to the <laughs> place. Carlsbad Water, shout out their pH water. They say, Carlsbad Water says there's a well and they show you a picture and it goes under Carlsbad, California. It goes under and then it goes out to the ocean, to a freshwater thing under the ocean. Or under the ocean. They're like they, fracking or something. They like, yeah, they're fracking water. What the hell? And they bring it up and then you go to this place and there's all these cars lined up and we fill up our glass water jugs because we can't have plastic, which she's not wrong about. And not, in my opinion, to just have water sit, especially if it's in the sun, in a plastic water bottle. But then they say, oh, if it says three on it, it's okay. It's but if free, it says five, I know. But bro, don't believe anybody though. To her point, you know what I'm saying? Like, you think these companies, they're making these plastic waters or the government cares about your plastic, microplastic intake? Do you think they care? Can I tell you a story? They don't care. Can I tell you a story? Yes. There was a client of mine who... We went, we would go to lunch. He was in his late eighties, I think at the time. I beg, I apologize if I've already told the story, but uh, we would go to Coco's or one of these breakfast places and we would sit and talk and um, we were both inter interested in the stock market. And he was probably 88. And at the time I was like, what about the environmental protection agency and how do we protect our water and our, you know, we have these plastics and you know, yeah. I was just, I was doing this thing, right? I was right. like spinning out of control. And he was like, who cares? And I was like, yeah, but people are getting poisoned and hurt and all this stuff. He says, I'm 88 years old. I'll kick everyone's ass in this whole place. And he was deadly serious. Um, I don't want to know what he's talking about. He's just saying, I'm 88. Look at me. I oh. can't be stopped. Oh, because he drank and he drank like that. He does whatever he wants and he's just like a badass. And now he's 88 years old. And then my other friend. So he's a, I still don't understand. You don't understand. He's how. 88 years old. And he wants to kick over his ass. How's that? How no, he's just saying he's water? a bat. Like he still kicks ass. Like he doesn't care. He doesn't care if there's poison in the food. He, he's 88. He can't be stopped by some poison or some other stuff. Well, you could argue 
80 years ago when he was eating that food, it was very different food. True, true. But I think he, that would be I my argument. He's in his 90s. He just, I people know. are built different though. I know. And like this one guy lived to be that, that some show or 60 minutes I saw years ago. She's like 90. She's like, I eat a Big Mac every day. Yeah. Like I get, I, it's I like know. Warren Buffett. He does that. Every, like he goes yeah. to McDonald's every day. Trump eats like the worst ever. I know. The he dude's eats McDonald's like too. 80 years old. Yeah, and he's like, <laughs> he had those guys from like the NCAA tournament or something. Yeah, he got a McDonald's. McDonald's. And they loved it. It's funny, though. And everyone gave him a hard time. Like, could you imagine if you showed up with your family and I had a party here and I just had a bunch of Big Macs? You'd Bro, be like, what are you doing? I would love it. We, <laughs> man, I told you how my family started to diss on Taco Bell the other day. I'm like, let's go to Taco Bell. We we're driving around and my kids are like, no. And my wife's like, no. And I was like, and they started trashing Taco Bell. I was like, I will whoop you all, dude. I grew up on Taco Bell. I was actually having a I love for Taco it. Bell. We should go there sometimes. We should. Because I, so I've been going to Chick-fil-A and I just haven't been there in like a year or two. And I just started going recently. My daughter won't eat it. Like, no, hey, she's all chicken or yeah, she's all uppity. I was like, like how my about, kids. Yeah. How about, how about grilled chicken with these like mark? It's called like a market salad or something. It's got all kinds of fruits and like, I don't know, nuts and stuff like that. And uh, she's like, no, I'm not eating that. Yeah. She tried once and then she liked the salad, but she's just like, I don't want to be eating that. Oh, she, when are we? She said this yesterday. When are you, we going to start eating dinner where you cook dinner every day again. And I was like, cause I don't like working all day long and then spending an hour cooking on the Traeger. Yeah. I you cook know? on the Traeger every day. Do you? No, not every day. Four days a week. But I use it like a grill and so I grill I. steaks on it. It's not a great grill. Traegers are not great grills. I would think somebody who is so concerned of their good toxic smokers. toxic stuff. I know. You wouldn't be getting like I thought of that. Pure smoke I, to cook your foods. I know. We want to get another we want to get a grill and not smoke all around your food. What's going on at the household, man? Sounds like you guys are kind of tight, tightly controlled on the old e BPA and other contaminants. Yeah. You know? You guys are hardcore. Uh, yeah, we're, we're pretty the hardcore. The glass bottle thing. How how many, is it a gallon? Or we no? go through three gallons. We go through one every two It's a day. three gallon. Yeah, because you can't pick up a glass should, bottle. Yeah, I know. Water. You could kill somebody. So it's You'll break eight, your foot. It should be around 24 pounds for three gallons. Yes. How do you figure that out? But it's I don't about care. Eight but pounds that's per good gallon. So yeah, yeah. Oh, and then the glass. Well, Check I have five thing. pound plastic ones, and yeah. they're heavy. And so every time it runs out, we have a dispenser. And every time it runs out, it's like sparklets. Shout out sparklets. Every time it runs out, I get a text from somebody in the family. Hey, we're out of water, and I'm like, because mm -hmm. I have to go carry it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Um, uh, you know how like husbands and wives will just like wear each other down eventually. Is that what's happening? Yeah. Like I was like, wait, we got to drive to the water store and do this process. And, and my wife's good. She just does it. Like uh -huh. I'm not, if, if something only matters to my wife, I'm not doing it. That's, that's a spirit. Is Bro. She listening to this, by the way. No, she never listens. Someone's going to be like, he goes, I should listen to that. Liz in the, you know, it's yeah. Like, wait a so, second. I'm not, I mean, I can't, I, I got to think, right? This is off the cuff, but if it's only matters to her and I disagree with it, I'm not doing it. And she's not doing it for me. I wouldn't think if it 100% is for her. So if I had 20% buy-in, that's a different thing. Can you break the glass though? Is it possible to grate? Or is oh, yeah, it really If you thick? dropped it on concrete, it would break. It's, it would break your foot is it really immediately. Thick? I mean, 24 pounds would break your foot. As especially the edge of it. It's just going to crush your foot. Yeah. I saw this thing. This on. is what we, this is what we do. Did I just cause controversy? Am I crazy for saying I'm if if it's one hundred percent her? And I'm not saying like for a minute. I'm not going to do something for ten years if I'm still of the opposition. I have facts and I say, listen, the plastic bottles. I looked it up, blah blah blah, and she's like, nope, we're doing this. And I'm like, I'm not going to. I'm not going to be the one that goes to the water store. Is my point? Can you? Take you can do that. Is just it like if there's stuff that matters. Does she want me to do this podcast for hours a week? Probably not. Probably not. I don't know my point with that. You do what you want. Is oh, that is that my point? <laughs> Here's my thing with the glass though. Is this wrong to do this just for fun? To take like 
a Brita filter and then take a bunch of tap water and then put it I don't into know. the Brita filter. I don't know what a Brita take, filter does. They're super cheap, but basically you yeah. take you take the water. It's some type of, it's not even reverse osmosis. I don't think it's just a water filter. I think yeah. anyways, you take it, you put it in the fridge or whatever. You turn the tap water into better drinkable water. Then you take your empties for the glass. You pour that in there and then have them drink it for like a week and be like, you've been drinking that the whole time. You didn't know that. Couldn't uh-huh. even tell the difference. But Brita water doesn't taste good. It tastes better than tap water. You think? Yeah, yeah. Mm. But still not good. That would be a tough Yeah, one. it's not like great tasting water. We like pH water. But everyone has their hill, right? That they're going to die on, right? Oh, so you have yeah. to you have to know, is this something That's that true. your wife really, really, really wants? Or is it just yeah. something you can debate? That's that's true. Right. And you've been married for how long? 15 years? Yeah. Okay. So you, you're you learning, right? Yeah. And I go get the water. I'm down. Okay. So you are getting the water. Okay. Yeah. I'm down. I, I, I have bought into a degree. So I am a part of it. What do you... Th- so I actually saw this. I think it was a short on YouTube. And I just thought it was funny. They had this guy who had some big, huge thing of glass. I don't know if you saw this. And they're like, it, it doesn't break. The glass won't break. And, oh. they, and they were like, no, just throw it and see. And he, he's like, no, I'm not throwing it. They're like, guarantee it doesn't break. You won't believe it. I will give you everything in the store if it breaks. Wow. <laughs> he throws it. It just shatters. Uh, it was totally a gag. And so like, what'd you do? You broke it. And the guy, like, owner comes out of the back. And he's like, he just threw this. I didn't see that. Play trolled the guy. It was great. Yeah. I was um, thinking about your glass bottles. No. So why the heck did we get on this topic? I don't know. A water? Glass. Water. <laughs> let's try to like go back into like why we're talking about it i remember it's something to do with what was it we started talking about drinking out of the tap oh hot dogs oh yeah okay drinking tap water heart, a hose okay yeah hose i think it's funny people listening to this are like you were talking about the hose or like yelling at the at the podcast right <laughs> yeah the ho- they probably forgot um the hose oh and then yeah northern california terrible water they say the water on the East Coast, that's why the bread is better out there. The water's better. Here's what someone said to me. We bring our water in. You ever drive East? Like th- these cement Try aqueducts from like freaking Colorado, right? From the mountains. And they just go like a thousand miles in these cement aqueducts, if that's the right word, to get to us. Mm-hmm. As opposed to the, everywhere else, they don't just, their water doesn't, their water comes from a river that's near them. We have no rivers. We have no lakes out here. What's wrong with a concrete aqueduct? It just it just makes the water stale. I mean, it's it's dead water as opposed to you got it from a river a hundred miles away. I'm of the belief that water doesn't expire. Water changes. True. In a, in the sun and cement aqueduct for eight hundred miles of just tr- trucking it in. You you drive on the. 15 or something i mean you'll see them next to you like they just no oh, yeah yeah yeah. no i know where they are i know yeah where they are. that's our water dude that's why the bread sucks and the east coast bread is better the pizza is better because the bread that's what they say the water from that's Niagara what they Falls. say they're from somewhere the hot dogs are better in new york seriously i believe that this is a fact i went there i was like a lot right. of things are better out there so can we jump into some apologies oh I know you haven't thought of it. Look at your face. You're not like, in not in any way have I thought. So I'd of first it. like to le- do a legitimate apology because we usually do fake ones. So the, the you have a le- real the apology. Apology is talking about water for the last twenty <laughs> minutes or however long it was. So sorry for that. We're educating people. Yeah, I mean, not that we're that smart, but like maybe people didn't know about glass bottles, which Eric disagrees with. I buy in personally. Glass compared to plastic, your water just sitting there and it's just leaching. God knows what into you that the government doesn't care that gets leached into your water. They don't care. The two biggest industries in the world are, are, are military and health. Hmm. Like fixing you banking? is banking and finance. Fixing your of... sickness is it is the biggest industry in the world and going to war. But don't you think that the suspect of both, don't you think that guy that I would go to uh Coco's with, don't you think that there's something to that mindset that you're like, I'm unfatable. I can't be stopped. I'm invincible. Nothing will happen to me. You think there's like some, like I remember one time I was super sick. Yeah, probably. I think I was drinking and my buddy, I was drinking some beer or something and he goes, hey, let me get a drink of that. And I'm like, man, I am bad shape, like super sick. Yeah. He's like, I'm a Viking. I don't get sick. And he's just drinking anyways. I don't know if he got yeah, sick. Yeah, no, I think there's something. Didn't believe that. it. 
a uh, very smart man was just like, like told me like the mindset of like, this isn't going to happen to me. Like there's power in that. Yeah. It's, you know, it'll work out. Right. Yeah. yeah. As opposed to th the, what would be fear. the opposite of that? The I'm going to get sick. Yeah, I'm going to get cancer. I'm going to right there. That can, that can, that's the opposite. It's like you're, we uh, think that can do something. There's probably been studies on that. What is it called? Obsessive compulsive disorder and these things uh -huh. where you get into stuff. It's, imagine you have an obsessive compulsive disorder you always like to do something repeatedly yeah, yeah and somebody just like rolls up with a gun or something right and they're like hey give me all your money like yeah it goes if, away if, yeah it's just <laughs> it's that's scary. very it's like scared straight right like you just when like for instance one time i got lost in the mountains and when i got lost in the mountains everything is clear as day yeah like you don't think about any all, remember you know how maybe i'm thinking remember as if you know what's going on in my mind but you know how you just have these weird things in your mind all day, things you're worried about, things that you're thinking about, and they just yeah. kind of forever. It's always going on. This, you know, oh, I need to get a new pair of shorts or something. I don't yeah. know, something like that. There's no force for your trainers uh, in the war torn Congo. There's none. There isn't a one one of them. They yeah. do not exist. Yeah, no, it, it, yeah. You have to get your uh, priorities in order, right? <laughs> yeah. So that, anyway. So that that was my thought on there. But do you have any? Did you think of any good apologies or no? No. You apologize for this segment. Um, our last, our last uh, podcast was Biden, right? Biden's dog. Yeah, that was. Um, no apologies given there. Um, were any Fs given? What do you mean? Did you give any Fs about that or no? About the comments that were in the comment section? Oh, oh yeah. Um, there were some trolls there was in the lot. comment. There was like five plus hundred comments. Oh, wow. Yeah, some lady. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we, some people were mad at me about Biden. Like, they thought I was like, I would, I, I think know. it was funny that they tried. So I got heat because I was, well, actually, there were some people that thought it was genu genuinely funny that I was like egging you on and trying to get you to be controversial. Oh, yeah. But then people were saying, oh, you, you guys are MAGA. You guys are, uh, it's some like, by Trump the way, thing. I've heard you say MAGA, Ma MAGA. I say, you know, MAGA. it's MAGA. I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> MAGA. See, I learned these things on the internet. That's like how MAGA you are. Whatever. You don't even know how to say it. Yeah, I know. I, I, so yeah, anyways, so then I've heard, you know, once you adopt a word, you're not going back on it, right? Bro, do your thing. So whatever it was. I don't care. Um, so they, so then it's like, they're saying this. And then another guy is saying, who's the, you know, you use the term turd next to you that is afraid to talk about that's you how terrible yeah how terrible the president is i'm afraid to, i'm like so i get heat from both sides of this yeah that means i did a good job i think. I thought people i thought i thought people who hate biden would be mad at me because wait people who no people who love biden would be mad i thought i didn't i didn't know oh people who love biden were mad at me yeah they were mad they i were thought it's people who dislike biden because i didn't go at him no, but people were mad because you didn't go hard enough. Hard enough at Biden. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. And they were mad at me because they thought, because I was joking around and being like silly, like, oh, what do you think about this? Oh, like yeah. I didn't go off on him, but I don't want to go off on anyone. Nah, it's not my it's role. It's a dog issue. It's not my role on the channel to give a big presidential pitch. It's not my role. Yeah. Although well, we talked about water for 20 minutes. I guess we could talk about anything. My whole thought is if you want to keep politics off of the podcast, then quit having the president have his dog bite 12 people and her 11 people, whatever. And then we won't have to talk about it anymore. God, can we talk about it more? Or is that I bro? They sent the dog away. Oh yeah. He's yeah, gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You saw that. Yeah. The dog literally the day that podcast posted, the dog left. I, read I kind of feel like we have a right to know what happened to this dog. I don't think taxpayers actually paid for that dog there. I saw this thing with Obama years ago in 60 minutes. And he's like, we have to pay. I have to pay for my own toilet. Like they, they have to pay have for to their pay own. For his own toilet paper. Yeah. 60 minutes. Google it. Obama 60 minutes. Um, and he said he pays Weird. for stuff. Like they pay, they get a salary. They have to pay for stuff. Like there's rules. Hmm. And so, but if the taxpayer pays for that dog, we need to know where that dog is right now. Nobody knows where Commander is. Someone said there was a Freedom of Information Act. And I want to be clear here. Um, someone sent a link to the video of, of Biden kicking the dog. I, I did a video I watched on that. that. 
did did you see this one? It was a when it was a puppy, I think. Yeah, it's it's a half kick. It didn't look that bad to me. It, it didn't look that bad. It's a kick. You can see yeah. he tries to move him towards the thing, the car, but he kicks him in the side. But it's not a trip. It's it's a half kick. But it, but I mean, I have maybe a, a, a higher standard for what a kick is. You know, like more yeah. of an MMA kick. Yes, depending on what political spectrum you're on it's either a kick or not a kick yeah well what's that the uh that rorschach test or whatever the litmus test rorschach oh yeah yeah that's yeah. where the with the blocks or whatever where they say like you see they, one thing and yeah. you see like yeah the i i mean i i saw it i clicked the link i was like okay yes yeah, so i was like I. oh if he's gonna if he's gonna kick the dog i, I gotta see this i got this is good yeah material and then i was like eh Eh, I'm a little disappointed on that. That kick was. It's not a weak. real kick, but it's a bit of a kick. It's an intentional moving of the dog with your leg, and not not uh, eat, um, subtly. Have you ever done that, or do you not want to answer that question? Um, no. Nah, I mean, I've walked into dogs. I mean, you can move a dog with your foot, but he didn't do that. There was like a little bit of a wind up there to get the dog moving towards that car. <laughs> next, he wanted to get uh, the next dog episode. We got to break it down like high, like high zoom footage. We could right? and just go in there. I, I'll, we should let him go. We should let it, give him the old benefit of the doubt on that one. Get some more of the uh, MAGA people angry at us. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. That just it didn't get me all excited. That wasn't. No, it just was no, no, kind of no, weak. No, no. But, it's not. It is weak. Um, we but want to be the dog's up. gone. We, if taxpayers paid for that dog, we have a right to know where the dog is. If taxpayers yeah. didn't, then we don't. It's his dog. Yeah. Um, but there's a lot going on there. Like, uh, I've seen podcasts. I haven't watched full podcasts. I was like 30 seconds of podcasts or interviews with other dog trainers. Mm -hmm. And you want me to talk about this right now? If you want to Biden stuff? Go on to okay. I don't care. You're it's your podcast, so it's your channel. Do whatever you want to do, man. You're the host. Oh, okay. Um, here's the here's the thing. Dog trainers are I I there's one thing that's not being talked about as much that I think is the key. So here's what I've seen. I've seen certain people on podcasts and interviews, and I said this years ago too. It's not the greatest environment for a dog being the White House. You know what else is it? And I agree with that. But I was thinking about it. you know what else isn't the greatest environment for a dog? An apartment you know what else is in the greatest environment of the dog going to the dog park every day going to doggy daycare three days a week someone having four kids and having a dog like what is the greatest environment for a dog mm -hmm. every situation except the zoom call i did today ladies on a farm in montana and i'm like look at these hills and i'm like go walk your dog up in these hills that's the greatest environment everything else has its limitations now the White House and the Biden family, guess what they don't have limitations on that all of us do? Money. How about financially? Yeah. How about building? He could have built a freaking big old dog thing in the back area there. He's a president. He can do whatever he wants. They have a ton of money. Mm -hmm. I tell people, hey, you might want to build your fence higher. They go, I don't have the money. Yeah. I go, hey, you need more training. They go, I don't have the money. No, there's true. no limitation. So yes, there's not. There's bad parts of the White House. There's good parts of the White House. Dog's house room the dog it's people i mean there's there's good things too so the white house is not the white house being a not a great place for a dog is not the big story here yeah but i mean come on let's be real this is not that's an excuse i mean the, the thing about it is it's it, ultimately the way i think most people in business should be is if so let's say you are a division owner right you're or not division owner division manager Everything within that division is your responsibility, yes. just like in the military. So if something happens on your watch with one of your employees, yes. it's still your fault, even I if know. you didn't specifically do it. Totally. You know, if something happens at a party or something. So the else. world works. Yeah. So so I'm just saying, in, and it, it is a little similar to what you're talking about, like with the zoo last week, where it seems like if you made, you put enough money into zoos, they could also have the type of environment that more of us would be comfortable with the same way you would with a dog. Right. Yeah. Um, but my whole thing is, you know, I think we could be, we should just all be honest about what we think about it. And if like somebody said in the comments, if it bit some, you know, if your dog did that, you would be in big trouble. And I think it's more about if something's going on, someone said, Oh, he's the president. He doesn't train the dog dummy. And it's like, 
well, yeah, but it's his dog. And if it doesn't work, if his training or trainer isn't working, then go get a different trainer. I know. You know what I mean? Well, I know there's, there's, so if you want to just be honest about this, which we do and we have like the, the leadership ability of him with his dog woefully failed. Here we go. Again. Woefully. <laughs> I mean, what's our next he's, topic? he's the buck stops with him. It's his own dog. I get if the one single person can't fix every problem in the world, I don't get where the one single person or the husband and wife team can't fix their dog. Yeah, I agree. Uh, bro. But here's the problem. I'm going to get into the actual problem. What is that? I have people that their dogs bite. Or, or the, there's people all over the world and their dogs are biting people. That's mm -hmm. not unique. You yeah. know what is unique? 11 bites without help. Who? The buck stops with Joe Biden to get someone in there to help him after the first bite or the second bite or the third bite. What kind of what kind of person just lets the dog keep biting people without getting help? I'll tell you what kind of person that is. It's a person who doesn't think that that doesn't live in the normal world, which the president doesn't, whoever the president is. By the way, everyone else is going to get help for their dog's bite because they don't want to get sued because, because they don't want to get taken away because they don't want their, get, their dog to get put down. So you take away those, those consequences and you are left with an untouchable person who can let their dog bite. If if nobody in society was going to get sued or their dog taken away, there would be a lot more bites. And that's what we saw there. Why wouldn't he let it go? Well, a good person wouldn't let your dog bite people. Yes, but there's no actual um, monetary consequences or taking the dog away for the president of the United States. That's where the failing was. And it's a giant failing. Get help for your dog. And here's how you get help for your dog. You think you go to TikTok? You think you go to Instagram? You think you, you go, go to, to the website? You training. go to long form YouTube and the him personally or someone under him with him overseeing it starts to call these people and then you fly them out. And by the way, I saw Trent, Tom Davis said he'll do it for free. Here's my advice to Tom Davis. Don't ever do it for free. You know why? People, if you do something for free, you're not taken seriously. And here's the thing. You need Biden. You need to carve out time. If they called me, I'd said, I'd maybe say yes. I'd say, I need Biden to be there for 30 minutes for two different days. He cannot be not involved. He has to be involved. And if you do it for free, he ain't coming to meet you because you're doing it for free. When money gets involved. So I was at school. You know this. You're a money guy. I was in school and this guy who does these animal programs where he brings animals to schools and he goes to underserviced schools or mm. schools without money. And he says, I never do it for free. All the kids have to write, I guess, I mean, in a way he does it for free, but they have to do work for it. Yeah. That all the kids have to write a letter saying why they want me to come. Because when you give something for free, it is thought of by That's the worthless. people who are coming to your thing or you're going to help that it's thought of as worthless. Does that make sense? It is 100% true. I wouldn't do it for free for a couple reasons. But one of those reasons is you're not taken seriously if you walk in there and you're doing it for free. They don't care about you. Or you're on fire today. <laughs> it's this freaking drink. I was thinking like... We do you could, know what I'm saying? I do. But I was thinking like if we actually wanted to push this podcast, we would take these rants and put them at the beginning. But yeah, unfortunately, Alex we don't Jones even style. care. But yeah, uh, that's, it's true. I'm, and that, that's my legit, I think that's a nice thing for Tom Davis to do. And I'm going to tell him what a man who was older and wiser than me told me in school. He said it to our whole class. He goes, if you, they will not value it if you do it for free. And it's true. I've seen it in life many times. Yeah, you got to charge something you pay for, for them anything. to value something you're more attached to it than if you didn't get it. Like you got to get some for free. I got And if you want if you want people in that very hierarchical structured place to take you seriously, you have to charge. 
you have to, or, and, and they need to take you seriously. If you're coming in to fix the dog, you need buy-in from all these people. Hmm. You need buy-in or the dog's not getting fixed. Wow. You don't need a lot of buy-in. You need the president for a little bit. You need the people around dog for a little bit. And by the way, the president can find time to do this. He's a busy guy. Remember I called he you in the morning time. and I was like, Hey, what are we going to do today? And then I said, we should like not talk about Joe Biden today. You're like, yeah, we should probably like go light on that one today. It's still in the news. Is it still a big deal? Yeah. I mean, my, my stance is, I mean, it's the emperor's clothing thing. Like if, if we, we it's a dog training podcast, it's yeah. a dog biting people, yeah. but it, it kind of went, the funniest thing is the that most it famous went dog in the world right for now, however probably. long besides Prince. Yeah, Prince is angry about your last comment there. But I don't know. I just think I was reading all the comments and I was very unimpressed with some of the desire to protect the president because I thought, dude, if you like the president, then you like the president. But I mean, there's certain bites. things where if, yeah, it's like if it was my uncle, I would be like, hey, guy. What the hell are you doing? I don't think there's a dog in this country who's bit 11 people and lived. Know, but I would be... When those people went to get medical care. Those dogs are... They're yeah. not around. And then someone said that you or you and I wanted the dog to be put down. Oh, yeah. I saw that. I just saw that before the podcast. Which is absurd. <laughs> Why would I want the dog to be put down? I would never in a million years want the and dog to be podcast, put down. And it's a podcast, so you could find it if we said that, but we did not say that. Of course. Of I don't course. really want, I wouldn't even really want any dog to be put down. I know we talked about this with the, the bear thing. I do. I, if there was Dogs a way. rip kids' faces yeah, off. Yeah, but if there was a way to just have it away, like in a, you know. In a what? In a makeup world. <laughs> right, I would always prefer it. And if it, if they're just like um, jail, right? They throw people in jail because they're oh, like, hey. You dog jail? Yeah, they hey, have so. those. I mean, they'll. The problem is like, you if they kill children. You cannot ever not have a dog 100% never around children. I thought like, of, there's children running around in the world. After our grizzly talk or whatever, I thought about it and I was thinking in my head, Joel's wrong. <laughs> about what? About a grizzly attacking you in the wild with two, with two, um, um, borbles at my side. If the grizzly goes grizzly on me, I can't get mad at the grizzly. I just can't. Oh. Oh yeah, no, I agree. I'm not like, mad at grizzlies. No, but like people. if you're like, well, we got to go kill it. Oh, I don't think we should kill no. it. I'd be like, you just like the Chris Rock line. No, it's so true. The though. tiger went. The tiger went tiger, which is a great line. Like, why would we get mad at the tiger <laughs> like with Siegfried and Roy? Like, you know what I mean? It's like it's being a tiger and it's you're in doing... captivity. <laughs> Do you think that was a big deal? I mean, obviously it was crazy. They like showed it on TV, him getting just attacked. Um, he died, right? Siegfried or Roy? Um, I don't think he died from that, though, did he? Yeah. Did he? I think he went to the hospital and died. Okay, you keep talking. I'm going to do a fact check. Okay, this, so, so the you. question from last week's podcast for the, all our true pod listeners, or if you're not a true pod listener, you won't know this. Grizzly killed two people and their dog, and they put the grizzly down. I said it should be put down. Um, I don't know. I guess it matters if I like to hike in the mountains of Montana. And I don't, but I care about people and their dogs and their children hiking in the mountains of Montana. I mean, I think all I was saying is if somebody is is walking around, like someone in the comments said, I shouldn't have a Glock, I should have a 454 Casual. I saw that. Which I actually have, so okay, take that to the bank. But mm -hmm. say you have that on your, on that, your hip. Put that in your pipe. And smoke it, yeah. Imagine that you are walking around with that. If Let's just say it's not me, let's say it's someone else. They're hiking through and a grizzly comes up and attacks them. They pull out the gun and they start shooting and maybe oh, they kill you're the cool grizzly. That. Yeah, they're, it's self-defense. But of like course. you get attacked and then you're like, go home and you go to the doctors and you get sewn up and stuff. Then you're like, all right, get the cavalry. We got to go find them. We're going to go kill them. It's kind of like, eh, it's a bit more than is needed. All right, so take this to the extreme. No animal gets killed for killing people, right? We don't go after crocodiles. We never, I mean, we don't go after any animal that ever kills people in this country. 
So for example, let's, let's take this. Okay. So say there's a rattlesnake, right? And I go to the rattlesnake den to their little hole. And I know he's in there. I'm going to go crawl in there. And then he bites me. I'm like, all right, got to kill him. That's a good point. I think like I, but here's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm not saying if we're in Alaska and you've got polar bears that are in the city, you know, going through your trash and getting aggressive with people and they're in the city. That's not the same all as right. the wild. It's interesting. Right, just they like, don't even kill those polar bears. I mean, what about a shark? Like, even if you, I mean, if well, you, you should kill sharks. You hate sharks, though. Um, there's just so many of them. But imagine if a shark bit someone, you're like, all right, let's go kill it. You're like, you don't even know if you can kill that shark. Get yeah, that's one. that's what I always trip out on. They're like, oh, this alligator ate someone, and they're like, find it. I'm like, how did you find that thing? So the guardian said, how'd they find that bear? They, how they know that they was just a bear? Find, they just find they they kill just, one. the bear. <laughs> uh what a, see the the um animal rights people will love it i don't for that. hate sharks by the way there's just a zillion sharks you said you wanted to wipe them out from like all of southern california where your daughter no sharks. no i did not i oh, said I i'm gonna that. sorry train a killer whale and we're gonna cruise up and down the coast oh it just defend and they're gonna leave okay i have a plan i am not a i have You're plans i have plans i have ways to deal with animal things that think outside the box that's what i have what happened to Roy? I'm an animal. After the bra- I have an animal attack. brain. Yep. What happened to him? Roy was left partially paralyzed on the left side of his body. He claimed that Montecor must yep. have been. Was that the name of the tiger? I don't know. Took didn't by his actually neck. attack him, insisting yeah. that he had suffered a stroke and the tiger was trying to take him to safety. Bull! <laughs> Get out yeah, of here! Yeah, I've heard that. I heard that. I saw it on TV. It looked like he was ripping his. Any, head off. An- I've known many animal people that were attacked by animals. And it is a thing in the animal industry to blame yourself, which is often your fault, and not to blame the animal. And you are indoctrinated with if an animal ever attacks you, mm-hmm. it is your fault. You are indoctrinated by it. And I, I think mean, it's it is a, his fault, to be clear. Right? If he had a stroke, I mean, it's... A, no, I mean, I mean, first of all, the stroke thing didn't really happen. Come on, let's be yeah. real. But second yeah. of all... I mean, if you have a tiger in captivity, you can't yeah, get that tiger, upset if it no, bites you. You're you're absolutely right, and that's the thing. And at SeaWorld too, it's like it, I mean, it was told to you. Like if 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 an animal aggresses on you, you did something wrong. I've worked with other wild animals. I was told the same thing. It's it's you're indoctrinated with it, and I don't think that's wrong. Listen, don't get in this field if you don't want to get attacked. Yeah, you're gonna get. You work with the big cats, you're gonna get attacked. Have you, you worked with killer whales? You're gonna have an incident. It, it, you're not getting out of it without something happening. I did, but yeah, I worked there for five years and at two, one place for three years and one place for two years. So I didn't get up with e- at either of the place where I was working with the animals that were more aggressive at my SeaWorld days. I walked a mountain lion. I walked a baboon. If I kept walking them, then something would have happened. Give it Maybe they time. thought you were handsome or something, and they just weren't afraid of you. Yeah, like, like the baboon. Yeah, or like the She's what was like, it? The Ooh. chimp or the no? It was a gorilla we talked about last week, right? With the guy. Who oh we, yeah, yeah, the yeah, uh, yeah, uh, not very attractive. Have you guy. seen the the series called 1923? No, seen I've seen 18 whatever that other 18, wo- Yellowstone like, series. Is. That that was a really good one. The, the one you're yeah, talking. I about. haven't seen 19. So the this one, there's a part where there's an there's some type of I think it's a leopard or something is basically attacking people in these tents in Africa. Don't ask me why oh. this Montana show is yeah, yeah. in Africa. That's but, cool. Uh, but, the, but it does. And so I get it, right? If if there's a tiger and it's out in Asia somewhere and it's ripping people out of their village, yeah, I'm with you. Like, that's not your fault. But when you are out in the belly of the beast where there are like the, what is it called? Um, All right. The you habitat might- where they live. You and might you're be sleeping there. You might be talking me into it a little bit. Yes. You almost never change your mind too. Yeah. Which is true. So, um, okay. So anyway, so we're good on that. So tiger, have you been to MGM grand? Yep. I told have you, you seen a story. The, is the lions there or no? Did yeah. You tell me that one. I might've, you tell me so many things. I forget. One of the first podcasts I went to M- MGM grand, I think with my school, with my animal school. So I got like behind the scenes stuff. And there were these two guys with this male lion. And they were just sitting there and they have a cane. Everyone, if you work with a, a not a protected contact elephant, you generally have an ancus. It's a little thing with a little hook on it. Good or bad, I'm just telling you the facts. Okay. 
if you work with big cats, you generally have a cane. And it's not to like do this, it's just to move. You can move people if they're close. You can you can just do things, right? They were in there and they were just looking. They had this big male lion next to them. And they're just, I just watched these guys. They looked like they were out to lunch. They did not care. They were not worried about this lion in any way because those MGM lions have been bred for tameness like their whole life. And the lion's nose was pushed in. They get that. What is it called? Apathy something? Neoteny. Neoteny. So as you tame things, they take on. That was episode two or three. Yeah. yeah young characteristics, physically and mentally. So foxes will start to change color and they'll start to act like puppies. And lions will, their nose will shrink. The, their nose will start to move in. And every generation, it's a little smaller. So this lion didn't even look like a lion. Have you seen the tiger things in, um, is it Thailand or China? I don't know. Where they, I mean, it's like a tiger place. There's nothing but tigers and people are going in there and just hanging with the tigers. Oh, really? Yeah, it's bizarre. I would never in a million years, but I, would, I wouldn't swim the killer whales ever I again. Do any, I wouldn't do any of that stuff. I yeah. wouldn't, I mean, I would never swim with sharks. I, I wouldn't, wouldn't go swim with a shark. I wouldn't swim with a shark. In a, in a in cage. A, in a cage. Neither would I, because I saw one me. come right in through that little hole and it was in the cage. I wouldn't go on a safari. I would totally go on a safari. I wouldn't for two reasons. What is it? What are the two? Someone's going to die one of these days. Yeah, but it most likely it's not going to be us. I know. Um, two, I don't want to see. I, I There's a chance you're going to see something you don't want to see. A gazelle getting killed by a cheetah is pretty cool. How about a baby hippo um, for an hour being just fine. taken <laughs> with, a, with a hyena and screaming for, in pain for an hour? I mean, I already saw it on TV or on YouTube. We, you just showed it on YouTube. Yeah, so. but you have to watch it and you're watching it in real life and you're hearing all the screams. I'm not doing it. If I'd be that bothered by that. I mean, I feel my heart would go out to it, but that's the wild man. Yeah. You think it's like harder in person than, yeah. than on... T I don't know, man. Surround sound. It's kind of. Yeah. I don't know. Um, so that's why I wouldn't do as far. Okay. Do you want. Did to... I get it? Did I, did I, we, we touched on Biden's dog and the controversy. And my, <laughs> my true opinion is that um, um, the real mistake was made in, in him not finding help. And it's a inexcusable mistake. Okay. Yeah. I think we covered was, the uh, Biden thing. Yeah, it's easy to get help. It's and here's the thing. After one bite, the amount of people in this country that could have helped him is in the hundreds. After two bites, it gets cut in half. After three bites, it gets cut in half. And once you're at 11 bites, there's three to five people in this country that could actually fix that dog. So they're at 11. There's about four people you can call. I'm not going to name who they are, but there's about four that will actually come in to actually fix that dog and not put a Band-Aid on Can it. Can I name four? Sure. Um, this isn't going to go. I don't even care if it goes. <laughs> I think Three. I think Dog Daddy could do it. I think Garrett Wing from, is it, up, or is it Upstate Canine? American Standard Canine. Okay. Uh, I think I would, I'm not saying they could do it. I'm just saying that's people I would enlist right. to do it. Right, right, right. Um, but I think both of those could do it. I think um, I think your wife could do it. I don't know if you could do it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I think you guys could do it. And then um, I feel bad, but is so the guy who has what's the other Tom? Is it Tom Davis? Mm -hmm. What's what is his channel? Upstate Canine. Okay, I feel bad because I I know he's like a heavy hitter in the dog space, mm -hmm. but I almost never watch his videos. Yeah. And I don't know why. Okay. But I, but I, I mean, I probably wouldn't call him, but I'm not saying he wouldn't. He probably could do it because you always talk. I always think there's another guy who was an older guy that you talk about as a, like you thought was a good dog trainer. And of course, Caesar Milan, by the way. I can't talk about that guy. The older guy? Yeah. Why not? Because I got a message from him. A negative one? Mm, it wasn't negative. I'm not even going to say it. I respect him. So I'm not going to, it wasn't negative, it, but it was, he, message me you disagree with something that you believe in or what no no come on man <laughs> tell us he i respect him and he and i'm not going to mention his name in a positive or negative way ever ever so something he said bothered you it didn't bother me he asked me to not mention him 
he actually was more specific than that. Not mean. He's like, hey, blah, blah, blah. And I go, okay. This wasn't the guy who, when you had the top, what was it? Remember the goat video? Uh, I think see, it now was. You're... I can't be stopped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that. No, I, I don't, I'm not even talking about that guy. I'm talking oh, about, I'm talking about. An older guy? I thought he was not that old, but somebody had a podcast or somebody had something. And I just always thought Tom Davis was the old guy. And no, then when I, click and I look, I'm like, oh no, that, not that guy. I know that guy, right? It was a different one. I don't so. know an older guy that you'd be talking about. Yeah, there's a different guy. Is yeah. Caesar Milan on your list? Yeah, yeah. I just said Caesar. Oh, okay. Caesar is four. I I'm think. not giving my list. No, I know. That's why I just rattled off. Yeah. Do you disagree a lot with my list? Mm, I disagree with it. Yeah. A little no, no. I mean a little bit. Yeah. You think there's people on that list that couldn't do couldn't help that dog? Couldn't fix that dog. I think a lot of trainers could help that dog. Helping it isn't could you fix a dog? Hundred percent. I be I believe that that uh yes i do we'll just say that dog daddy <laughs> could dog daddy fix it he's our buddy he was here he's on the podcast he is our buddy i think he'd help the dog a lot of people would help the dog yeah i mean i i i am confident well i don't want to say i'm confident i'm confident you could, well i know you could you could help the dog and you could fix the dog Although I do believe certain dogs probably can't be fixed at a certain point. Yeah, I just don't think that's this dog. So mental illness is a problem when things can't be fixed sometimes or there's mental illness. And my first job when I when I when someone comes out to me is to either 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 diagnose the dog. Oh, but you're not a vet, whatever. Yeah, no, no. I know more than a vet, whatever. I've trained a hundred X the dogs that the vet person trained. So you either die, if they have a mental illness, everything changes. Everything changes. Yeah. If they don't, they are almost always fixable. This dog, I believe, came from a good breeder. I would assume the dog came from the good breeder. Hence, it had this okay childhood. Mm -hmm. right? We're not fixing childhood issues. So we're, we're fixing. Yes, I 100% believe. I said... I think I said 90 last week. I've thought about it more, but I can't be a hundred. I, I can't be a hundred percent. There's not a mental illness going on here. I mean, you can't be a hundred percent sure of, of me, anything. Dude. I can be a hundred percent sure. I'm not going to get hit by a truck. I mean, I could hit you with a shovel. You could go crazy. Here. Yeah. yeah. You'd never know. No. Um, okay. Um, so are we able to not talk about his, his talk anymore? All right. No more Biden talk. <laughs> no. Commander talk. I'm I'm pulling my host <laughs> my host rank as as sorry as that might be. Alex Jones was right. I did not notice that until it I just read this. I'm not saying Alex Jones was right. I'm just happy They're to turn the frogs gay. This is a person with a Rottweiler in their title or in their um thumbnail, whatever you want to call what it. What they say? It says, I love how Joel is so unscripted and how he speaks his mind about serious issues. Good. So did they say Alex Jones is right? No, that's their that's their handle. That's oh, their, that's their moniker. Uh, I was just like, whoa, that was that. I just I don't I don't know the frogs gay. I don't I don't listen or I don't I don't look at their who's writing it all the time. Yeah. yeah. So um, and then oh, this is funny. I'm surprised I screenshotted this one. User says Eric's getting triggered. Laugh out loud. You're insulting his hero, Joe Biden. Sad. Yeah, Eric loves Joe Biden. I don't know if they're like being like serious or not it's, i don't even i know i saw know. that i was like i was like i don't know okay this guy was just the one i mentioned so the 454 is we talked about by the way about, every single comment from last podcast is about commander so i got a lot about it i got a lot that up or not oh really not a ton but so we're bringing was, in the comment comment section of the podcast you guys get involved you write comments we might read them on the next one yeah and then that's a fair point and we haven't talked about that in a while that we read the podcast or we read the comments from, from prior, the last podcast prior podcast um so that's something to make note and of. we have a phone number to call and i also we'll put in the description want to go a little crazy on it oh yeah we'll do that too i want to get a little bit crazy because um i think the comment thing is important and we've been we've missed a couple we haven't missed them but we've we've only covered a couple and we were spending a little bit more time so i'd like to get a little comment section going oh, here, if that's okay. Let's go. Just to give some love. To From the people. last podcast. 
Yep. M. Cal says, hi, Beckman. I love watching all your content. You are the greatest. My one-year-old shepherd mix barks often. We never really get like to serious specific issues, but I figured we'd throw some red oh, meat yeah. to the people. Yeah. Um, often in the backyard and can't wait or, and we can't let her be outside unattended. Any tips to help outdoor barking? We have a fence so she can't see what is on the other side, but she hears people walking or other dogs don't want her to drive our neighbors crazy. Did they say the age? My husband is thinking of getting her a shock collar. Yes, my one-year-old uh, shepherd mix. One-year-old shepherd mix. All right, one-year-old's a tough time for the dog. We're going to exhaust all options before a shock collar, okay? I just think that's the right thing to do. I'm not an e-collar trainer. Let's do that. You mm -hmm. should exercise your dog more, sir. Is that the answer? Well, that's one of the answers. Okay. The The dog's tripped out in a fear period. Get him out. Get him exercised. Get him exposed to the world that's out there. They calm. That's mentally, physically, they calm down. They don't want to bark as much. Barking in your backyard can be a number of things. One thing it is, is just, I got nothing else to do. And I got a lot of energy. Yeah, okay. Bark when you bark, when they come into the fence, like through the fence, don't, yeah. don't bark on the other side of the fence, right? Yeah. So number one is extra, more ec mental and physical stimulation. Number two is giving them, occupy them. So I would go when my dog was growing up, Bosco, first Doberman, I take four Kongs, I'd fill them with wet food and I'd freeze them and I'd dole them out the next day. And people always, when I tell them that at my facility, they look at me sideways because it seems extreme. They're used to maybe one come every other day. No, dude, make your German shepherd out there. He's out in the backyard. He's just eating. Make all your dog's food come from the Kong. How mm -hmm. about that? It's Do genius. six of them. One Kong, medium sized red Kong, if you don't know what it is, takes about a third of a can of wet food. So you could get your dog over a can of wet food, which might be a third of your dog's diet each day from the Kong. You could get inventive with that and you could give more stuff out there. Okay. Then after that, it's not a training issue, right? You're not there. Um, there's almost no training. The ne next after that would be, would be an e-collar, which I don't do, but, and I'm, I'm anti e-collars to turn them super high up. Your dog has dog aggression. Your dog sees another dog. Your dog gets shocked. Your aggression lessens. There are byproducts that are very bad when you do that for dog aggression. So I am not an e-collar guy. You're not anti-e-collar. I'm not anti-e-collar. I'm going to suggest it right now. If you can, if you have exhausted or All you that. can't do the stuff I just told you, then you can get an e-collar that triggers when they bark. I'm trying to help this person. I personally would never do it. Yeah. I would do the other things, but like I'm, I want to help people. But any more, and we'll have to charge you. So we don't want to. We don't want to get too deep on this one. That's it. Um, you just got the whole spiel. Um, I mean, there could so be this other person things. Says, up, but... um, and I know I just said we weren't going to talk about this, but I figured, like, why not? Unfollowing you now. Biden is a good president. Better than a traitor that only helps rich white people. Next, okay, Plenair. Uh, you guys are not blind to the fact that I thought I didn't screenshot all these ones. A skip. We'll skip in that one. Um, Okay, another another White House one. I They're legit tried not to do this. Okay, Kristen Burkett. I'm both for and against zoos. They will never be big enough or real enough for the animals to really stay wild. But they also allow people to see or even sometimes touch animals that they would otherwise maybe never even know existed before. And therefore, and therefore uh, possible, possibly spark someone who might one day find a way to save them from going extinct. Yeah. It's a legitimate point. It's not bad at all. Yeah. About zoos. We already covered the biting, kicking his dog thing. I've dispelled the rumor. Joel did not dispel the rumor. Um, oh, I like this one. April Burris, 100. Shout out to all the people that put 100 in the comment. That and they there was us, a lot. Yeah. And they wanted us to. They'll be here at the 40th They'll be podcast. here at the, no, the 100th. 100th. 100th podcast. Oh. Yeah, hence the 100. But that would be about a little under two years. Mm. Yeah, I don't think we're stopping. I or am I also going to say all this stuff I want to say? Early in the podcast, I was thinking like, this is so weird that we do this, but... No, we just talk. So it says, 100, I love to watch your podcast and your training videos. I have gone from a pinch collar to the gentle leader and used your techniques with immediate success. Thank you for the commitment to help people in owning better behaved dogs. 
Um, I got recognized at the gym from the podcast. I love that. Yeah, I told I texted you right away. I thought you'd be excited because you're wondering when you're gonna be recognized. Never. That's okay. But he he's a subscriber, so he could have seen me in my normal videos. But he's he quoted from the podcast the first thing he said to me. Yeah, I think um how much do you think I get recognized where they don't say anything? What percentage of the time do they say something? Um this guy, I, I asked think him. We covered this like at a baseball game one time. It was like thirty-three percent. Oh, I asked him. Um, I said, um, "What did I say?" I said, "Have you seen me here before?" And he said, "Oh yeah, I've seen you for a long time." So we didn't want to. He seen it wasn't the first He's time. Probably he watching me. this now. He probably is. Jim, I think his name was. Shout out, Jim. Yeah. Um, okay, I want to get into this one real quick. Um, in this viewer nine oh five eight, it's an actual person. I'm not, and you, if you could clarify that in the comments, viewer nine oh five eight, uh, you guys should do a video of showing your board and trained dogs so we can that. see the process of what a normal day in the life of one of the dogs with you looks like, and we can see where they sleep, etc. Love you guys. So my first thought was, maybe we'll cover this on the next one. Can we talk about this next week? Sure. The board and train whether sure. or not it's a scam oh that's a good question i actually saw a short on that someone it was like should dogs who did it someone did a short saying should dogs do a board and train and i think it was like a board and train person stick God, around for who next was that stick around for next week and we'll, there's a very we'll there are people all the time i go you shouldn't do a board and train do you know where all the, the time i say the that scam thing came from i just made it up when i was reading the comment i was thinking that would be funny but Oh, we should talk about it though. Cause there's, I have legit board and train scams. No, just like, is your board and train a scam? Oh, maybe mine. It, yeah. Maybe it is. Maybe uh, it's next not. podcast. Yeah. So, right. Yeah, exactly. Um, how about Dachon Wolf? I don't know. 100 for sure. Joel is a very knowledgeable man. I love hearing his opinion on all kinds of subjects. I have been watching his training videos in preparation for adopting oh, yeah, a dog. Uh, like Joel said in one podcast, nobody wants a pit bull. They just go to the place and get one. <laughs> I laughed because that's exactly what I did. She turned out to be a really good dog. I did say that. Joel's video. I didn't even read this part. I just read the first part. Dude, like, this is good. I should post more on like Facebook where you just write stuff. Yeah. And just my quotes. But Joel, nobody wants a pit bull. People just go to the place and get one. <laughs> Joel back. Bumper sticker. Bumper. But Joel's videos have helped me tremendously with their training. Uh, it seems that he puts out the video I need when I need it. The most recent recall video is one of them. That is honestly the biggest issue we still have with her. And the video was very helpful. Thanks for all you do and keep it up. That yeah, cool. that, that last video, I didn't know if I wanted to post it. It was fine. Um, Which one was that? It was ugly, right? It was a recall the video of Santa Ana wins. Yeah. Was that? That's oh, it was. It was from only. Okay, this was recent. Okay. Yeah, a few days ago. Well, we yeah. posted that one yesterday, right? So that's. Yeah. So I was thinking that would have been too fast, but yeah, I guess I just screenshotted that. So it makes sense. But the thumbnails hot fire. I thought, mm, yeah, thumbnail person's good. <laughs> uh, so we'll do this one. Jules nine, seven, one, two says funny. You mentioned German short hair pointers. I have known a couple of them, European stock, of course, and these dogs are insane. The work drive is insane. They will go through barbed wire and big thorns like nothing. And then talks about how they got a hold of a dog, which I don't like. But just that was our breed of the week last week. Now we are going to have to do a really bang up job with the old breed of the week here. I was, oh, I forgot about breed of the week. And we only have a few minutes. Yeah. So maybe. Can um, I read? Can I do something? Yeah, go ahead. I just like to do this. It never works out. But what does work out? Breed of the week never works. Yep. I'm going to read the last comment on the from the last podcast. Fire away. Doesn't matter. I don't know what it says. Could be horrible. Are you all right? You don't know this. Okay. No, I just literally scrolled through. Funny. Oh, it's you already read it, bro. Funny you mentioned German shorted pointers. Okay, I'm gonna go to the next one. You you ruined the whole trick. We had it, and then you just yeah. Oh, this, see, it never works out. So you're not gonna like this because I did. I sorted newest because I'd already read it. So I know I, I screenshotted the newest. Although I yeah, normally yeah. do top because yeah, then top. I switched it up this. You week. didn't do top. I did top earlier and then I did newest because oh, that's how I can find what mind. I what I missed. So. That segment bombed. Is terrible. Are you interested in doing a breed of the week this week? Yeah, yeah. Because we're, we're, we're to cutting disappoint this short, some people. Right? Um, so how about a 
Corellian Bear Dog. Never heard of it. Okay. All right. Uh, I will give you one more, actually. You should. Corellian. Okay. I'll what do that. What the hell one. is Corellian? I don't know, but there's a wrestler named Corellian, I think. Anyways. Um, so how about a beagle? Oh, beagle. That's Catch a good one. Them? No, beagle's a good one. Because it's unique. It's not that common, actually. Um, recall can be really tough. Where are they from? I'm going to say England. I don't know for sure. Recall can be tough. They get their nose down. They're scent hounds, yep. kind of obviously. Probably the most popular scent hound. How similar to bloodhounds? Pretty similar? No, but they're different sizes. They're very different dogs. But they're both scent hounds, and they both get on a scent. They're about as good as it gets, right? Although bloodhound may be better. No, I've trained one bloodhound. Really? Yeah. That's not it's many bloodhounds running around out there. When's the last time we saw a bloodhound on a walk? Just big gang. old floppy everything. Um, beagles, um, hard to get, hard to do recalls. Um, big howlers. They're super cute. They're just like, they My do those cute beagle. howls. Yeah. I mean, I don't. Kind of small, right? Yeah. They're not that tall. They're definitely small. 30 pounds. Yeah. That's a small, small dog. Yeah. Um, I've probably trained 10. And not one for three, two years. Hmm. That's not a lot. Yeah. I think the, the, the breed I've trained the most recently by far, German shepherds have always been in the mix. There's so many doodles right now. Doodles. I'm training doodle everything. They have doodle everything. Someone came with a doodle. What is it? Like the most random mix. They're just making everything with doodles. Is the doodle like mostly like signified by the the curlyish hair yeah i don't like the way that that looks oh really i like, I the like way him. prince looks with like the the real short hair yeah. like that i will tell you one thing though it would be nice to not have hair all over my ground and the i get why people problem? do it yeah, apparently they don't shed much really yeah that's the whole thing i just always thought a poodle and things like is a poodle a doodle yeah mix half what half poodle half bernie's mountain dog it's a labradoodle or excuse me a labradoodle a golden doodle a bernie doodle i have i have one right now that's a doodle what the heck is it an aussie doodle i think he's an aussie doodle it reminds me of uh you ever see that movie what is it what about bob you ever see that yes but i don't remember it i just remember he was on the front of a boat yeah yeah that's that's right. all i remember and he was like a poodle a doodle a noodle. Like, I don't even know what he was saying. Speaking of mental illness, I think he was a bit mentally ill in that um, show. Yeah. And you were talking about that earlier. Um, have we covered that we have a merch uh, account? Yeah, we don't have it on. But uh, yeah, all day merch. You can go scroll down. Oh, yeah. All day. all day. We'll do this all day. We will do this all day. And that was what I took away from your Hell or High Water uh, video that you'll do this all day. Oh yeah. And I went into in the, the water, water, grabbed a dog. I've been into the ocean. Mm -hmm. I went, to, I took a dog to dog beach in Del Mar and he, I'm like, come. And he's like, no. And I'm like, okay, I'm coming in. I'm coming to get you, bro. You're yeah. an adult. It's time to come no matter what. No, I'm, I'm not you. begging you. I'm not going to ask 10 times. I You're think... going to end up here. And someone asked in that video, they go, oh, but cause I grabbed the dog. No nonsense. Get over here. He's an adult right? He knows better. He had been trained to come. He chose not to come, which is okay. Don't ask. A, don't ask something if you're not willing to follow up with something. Just don't ask. It's fine not to ask. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Don't say sit unless you're willing to follow up with the sit. Don't ask a single, don't ask a single behavior in life if you're not willing to follow up with it ever. Mm -hmm. Don't ask your kids to do anything. If it's an important behavior, if it's just a throwaway thing, it doesn't matter. But you have to follow up when an organism has reached a certain age and they know better. You want to train something, you want results, you have to follow up. Hmm. Now, am I perfect at it? No. But that kind of is a rule. Hmm. Tell me, tell me the important thing you're going to ask that you actually are that you're not going to follow up on and it's going to go well. Nothing. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Hmm. Seems very 
It seems very, very strict. Very harsh. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Th but don't ask. But just, then just don't wish. ask. I just wish that it'll get better. That's fine. There's other ways to change behavior. Hmm. You know? Yeah. I um I'm trying to think if there's anything else we should cover today. Breed of the week. Covered the breed of the week. Got the comments. We got the uh troll of the week. Troll of the week. Uh geez, It's a that, new segment Eric and I were talking about. That would have been um that would have been the gal. Yeah. Um, I won't was, say her name though. Why not? You can she say was her trolling. Name. Oh, cause cause so there was this person that was just commenting on other people constantly. Just yeah. like mad at all the commenters and then getting in arguments in the comments. People are like, What are you doing, lady or guy? And uh so I what are you doing, Jill? So so I said she commented on a bunch of this one person, she kept commenting. So I said in the comments to the person, I said, hey, you run the channel now. You tell me if I should block her. Now, why would I block her? Because she wasn't even talking about me. She was just trolling my, the pod. Yeah. I'm trying to, I was trying to protect you guys to not go. I just wanted to comment on Joel's freaking podcast. And now I got this lady trolling me. So I'm trying to protect, like, I want people to comment without getting into stupid arguments that's i'm that's trying fair. to cultivate something it doesn't all need to be positive same, say it about me yeah same reason why you tell people not to go at your owners oh, not to go at clients right yeah. same reason so then i i did something i thought was kind of cool i said i said um so and so you tell me if you want her blocked or whatever you you tell me and he came back he said like Let's give it a day. Let's see. Let's see. We'll we'll give it some time and then I'll tell you. And that's what I might do from now on. Maybe I'm going to tell the person, hey, you tell me if you want her. You can basically, this is funny. Give the power to the pod. Yeah, you can actually make someone disappear um, on YouTube. So if somebody is running their mouth, it'll like show that the comment was made, but no one else will see the, the really? comment. Yeah. So... You know, if you don't want to get disappeared, you know, you don't have to be nice. Just don't troll like normal people yeah, who yeah. Are into the pod. Honestly, people say she's no still around. By the way, she's people, not blocked. People say all kinds or of he I goofy think stuff. If you say something goofy, like people say negative stuff about me, I'm like, oh, that was funny. Whatever, and I don't care. But like, if somebody does thirty negative comments in a row towards the commenters, yeah. Well, I mean, I think thirty of anything oh, is a yeah. bit much. Like. Yeah. That would be what seven percent of the entire comments. I don't know, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's true. It's like don't flood the channel with your BS. We don't care about this. Yeah, you will get. And I said, I said in the comment when I when I gave the person the power to block her, I said, she's not interesting. She's not like there's nothing being brought to the table. Yeah, it's not funny. If she was funny about it. And interesting and disagreed with people. That's a different story. Yeah, I got in. Yeah, Be interesting. getting into all the politics stuff. And I was like going, like, we don't care about your politics, lady. We're just like talking about his dog biting people. Like, 11 people. Yeah, it's not like it wasn't some, well, you wouldn't say that about Trump or you wouldn't say about Reagan. It's like, dude, I'll say it about Reagan too. Yeah. but And I mean, if Reagan's dog was biting people, that'd be amazing. Yeah. That would be wild if that is happening. <laughs> be the oldest dog ever. Yeah, Reagan was what eighty to eighty-eight. Yeah, way like back twenty years ago. Yeah, right in two thousands, right. I went to. Um, I lived in Simi Valley. I should have gone to that library. You see yeah. it? It's right up on the hill there. I never yeah. went. I've heard people say great things about it. I have no idea about it. I just know a, a old boss of mine. He lives in Simi Valley, so he's. Oh, yeah, I like to check Valley. it out. I think they have an airplane in in the middle of the. I think they thing. do. I don't know. Yeah, he's from Simi Valley. I think he like. From he there. had a ranch there. I don't know. Oh, Do you yeah. know that story of that guy though? Reagan? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. He was like a college football player and an actor and all this other stuff. He People lived like a thousand him. lives. I was like young. I was like so anti-Reagan. You remember Back to My the Future? My mom, like super liberal, were like, we hate Reagan. We had no money. Yeah, yeah, I know. I got some of that from my mom too. Yeah. Uh, did you did you know that like Back to the Future, don't they say it? They say something on the first Back to the Future about who's the president, Ronald Reagan. And he's like, they're like, the actor? Because oh, at that time yes. in the 50s and 60s, he was an That's actor. That's what he was. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but, anyways, so anything else you got? 
or you want to no. sign off? I had no apology segment, but we talked about I Commander the me though. We talked oh, yeah. about Commander the whole time, right? Your segments are unreliable. We never know. Yeah. If you're just gonna bring like you like I asked you about the potty potty training thing, you went off. On you're unpredictable. Training. No one knows what they can predict from you. Yeah. You, yeah. That's how you stay dangerous. Oh, you know? Right. So right. Um, but that's okay. So hey, that's it. That's all she wrote. All right. Love you guys. Hey, hit the subscribe button. Oh yeah. Do that. See you guys.